maybe it's Putin's fault. <laughs> Good evening, everybody, and uh, welcome to another round of uh, the New Champions Protocol from Game Night's server. Um, here we have a continuation of a story that we began a long time ago and are just trying to complete it tonight. We have a ship out off of um, Thunder Bay that has been attacked by Destroids and some other supervillains and the heroes are trying to rescue the um, flagging rebellion members that are trying to get away. And here we are, we are, we've lost track of a lot of different things that have happened over the last month, and so we're going to start at the, the top of the turn. We have here, um, oh, it looks like we may have lost Peter again. Uh, we have uh, Silkhide running his menagerie of otherworldly critters. Uh, we have Darash running maximum resistance and Rampage. <laughs> Running Sand Crab. Uh, we also have Pan Piper playing um, Ghost, but uh, he's having connection problems, so he'll be in and out, I'm sure, as we continue along here. Alrighty. Um, gentlemen, do you have anything else to add? Or do you just want to get right to it? Nope. Get right to it. Alrighty. So, um, we've had some characters that have had to uh, miss tonight's game, and so Rocket comes running in and he grabs Dragon Lady and disappears off across the water with her, uh, taking her to safety. She had been knocked nearly unconscious from attacks with some of the uh, Black Talons. So, at this point in time, we have... Uh, super villain cyclone flying around the ship and he's just going to hold his action we have Orion who is blowing holes in the bulkheads trying to find where max resistance has run off to Where'd you go, Orion? So he blasted a hole last phase. Uh, if I can get him to come over. Come on, you. Over you. Nope. And he comes through into the same area that. Ah, uh, where'd you go? All down below. Yes, he did. If somebody could pick up Orion over here and put him inside the same bunker where uh, Max Resistance is. Where is he? Thank you. No, Lena. Okay. He comes running in and he does a, an energy blast at you, Max, hitting a DCV of 10. Hits him. Okay. This is just your regular energy blast. Okay. I'm stunned. Okay. Can you mark your figure is being stunned. Ha! I caught you! You shall not escape my wrath this time. Sand Crab, you're up. Alright, I guess... I, I, if, I, if I recall correctly, I was on the deck on the front of the ship, right? You guys had... Um, up, dropped there? Yeah, poured it in and sure, we'll have you there. This this uh this black talon is unconscious. Mm, 
define this. Can you click on him? Yeah, he's right here. Oh, yes. He was, he was upside down. Okay, and that one's down there in the water. And you have another one up on top. And he was uh, taking aim at some resistance fighters that were trying to get away. Alrighty. I will climb over there. I'm going to use my clinging so that I don't get knocked off the boat. I'm going to resist any type of knockback from his direction. And I will give him a good punch and try to knock him off the boat. Alrighty. Blessed are those who expect nothing, for they shall not be disappointed. Mm -hmm. well, I can't find it, so I'm just going to roll. <laughs> DCV of 18? That's definitely a hit. What exactly are you doing? Here's a punch. Okay. I'm knocking him off, trying to knock him off the boat. So. Do you have a base OCD of 16? Wow. No, it shouldn't be 16. I'm not sure what's going on. 12 plus 4? No, it should be. Yeah, you're right. It should not. It shouldn't be that. I forgot that I that this is a new right. That's why I could. That's why I couldn't find the level. It should have just been twelve. Let me redo that hit roll. No. Yeah, the the dice roll yeah, that you meant. Even if you take the four off of there, that's still hitting a DCB of fourteen, which will hit these guys. There you go. That's right. All right. So you are hitting Black Talon Two Two. Do I have him on here? All right. I was like, wow. Rolled a nine and hit a DCD of eighteen, and had to look at that. I was like, that's crazy. Should have been twelve. Yeah. Should have been a fourteen, right? Which is still a good roll. What did I roll? Oh, one, three, five. And no wonder I couldn't find the hand-to-hand -hand level. <laughs> After the peer review, I got rid of them. Ah, that would do it. Okay, um, any knockback? No? I need to roll that, too. Well, it's on CV at 12, you really don't need... Well, it wasn't that way before, it's just that that's how it ended up being after the peer review. Uh, so I need to do... There's a roll. So ten, and you did. So it'd be three meters of, so six meters of knockback. But he's got negative. He's got, he's, yeah, he's got minus ten. So, so you hit him, and he goes ow. <laughs> All right, that is Sand Crab's turn. You can recover from being stunned. Yes, I can. <laughs> uh, this Black Talon agent comes flying up into the air. Oh, that was good. And he'll take a shot at you, Sand Crab. I hit a DCV of seven. Then I guess he's going to miss you. And a whole bunch of um, little arrowheads come shooting out of his armor, and they uh, strafe along, but he missed you. Ooh, 
sounds like armor piercing. Alrighty. Um, are you on Wells, Jason? Uh, no, I am Lysen form right now. And she has this little darkness field up that lasts for a turn. Uh, okay, yeah, that's what you that's what you had put it before. But can you make a perception yeah. roll, please? Three. Okay, you see an energy field flare up around the destroid that is in that uh, darkness field with you. Um, and then he tries to shoot you, but he gets to attack with a OCV of zero. I gotta put minus seven in there. I hit a DCV of minus four. How's that? Hey. That's so, an, I still <laughs> my DCV. So. Sorry. Oh, so you're my, so you're only at minus three. So he he would have hit you if he was minus four. You know. Uh, are you back, Pete? Oh, good. You're actually coming um, in. I'm making progress. So. More progress than I've made in. About 15 minutes. Okay, Max, make a hearing perception roll. By three. So you can faintly hear the screams of men further inside the ship from where you currently are. And you can hear blaster shots as they are being shot up. By further inside, do you mean like downstairs? I, I see a door here. Do I... So I mean, I mean further over this way. Uh, from where you are uh, towards the front of the ship. Oh, towards the front of the ship. I probably can't hear a whole lot out that way. Yeah, not, not a whole bunches, but yes. Okay. Hoping these people can defend themselves a little bit. I came in here to find people that were hiding. So but they all appear to be dead at this point. Okay. Uh, Max, it's your turn. Do you recover, uh, from, recover being from being stunned? Okay. Uh, ghost, if you're able to do anything. Um, hopefully. Uh, I'm pretty sure I've got the movement for this. Let me just try to check. Yep. Um, ghost is going to be doing a maximum velocity charge on Black Talon uh, 1 2 2, one that's just beside Sankrat. Okay. And she will wind up on the edge of the ship around here. And this calculated the edge of the ship. Right here. There we go. Um, charge. Three apples to hit in charge. Rolling. Hit a DCD of 13. That's a hit. Um, Seventy-seven stun, twenty-two body. You uh, okay? And uh, knockback. Uh, I'm sure there will be some. Well, Seven. I'm not so sure. It's got knockback resistance. I rolled fifteen, so. Okay. Uh, only seven of the knockback. Okay, so no, there won't be, won't be any knockback. However, you do see the systems shut down on said Black Dallin. There we go. Good start. Come on. 
Where did my lay down bar go? Lay down. Did you lay down? Did it work? Did you lay down? I couldn't see him lay down. Yep. Yeah, he's laying down. Excellent. Yes, okay. Did not well, on which, my one, which one did you strike? The one next to me or the one on the barrel of the ship? Uh, the one next to you. Oh, the, the GM knocked the wrong one down. Oh, okay. That's funny because he was... The, that, that was the one that was highlighted. Maybe I had the two of them highlighted. I don't know. If you can knock him down, great. If not, that's fine. But he is out of it. Yeah, I can do it. No problem. I, I figured if Sand Crab was beside one, that means that Sand Crab had already put damage on him, and he was still standing. So it's a good target to put down for for good. So. Um. So, which body are you in, Jason? Right now, I'm in Lizen, but okay. I'm going to. Uh, it's Lizen's turn. Change. Yeah. Okay. So, um, Lysen sees this uh, destroyer trying to blast at her. Yes. Um, she doesn't have any forms to or any a way to really attack in this form. Um, and while this uh, darkness field lasts for a turn, for a time, she is going to try to skedaddle. <laughs> Ski so she will, she will, um, she will um, turn into um, Wellian form, which is kind of a the farmers of Octocolia. and they are kind of rocky skinned, that kind of stuff. Okay. So she's going to turn into that form, and it's a zero phase action. But he in that form, or she in that form, can tunnel. Um, not very far, but through pretty heavy material. She can tunnel 10 meters through 30 PD material. Holy fuck. Okay, so, so you you can going. easily um, sink the ship. I mean, you can easily go down <laughs> through the deck. <laughs> yeah, he, yeah, that's what she's planning. So she's just going to go down in that form. She is going to go down just the next level. Okay. And the field stays up for a turn, so. All right, Does so I'm trying to grab Wells, and I'm uh, trying to move. And so she doesn't. Wells ends Maybe. up over here. It does or does not leave a home. Oh my goodness, I it, just dropped it, wells. It does. Um, they were farmers back on Octocolia, so they didn't really have the concept of they plowed rows. They didn't is close it like behind a perfectly them. round hole, or is it just a jagged hole? It's a jagged hole. I mean, it's... I mean, it's... Uh, He's not an artist. No, He's not, not at all. Pretty. It's kind of... Earth. She's just, you know... What they might do to blow through a boulder or something like that. So I th I think that Wells has dropped through the table. We can get another Wells, I guess. Because I brought Wells over to this location here. So I'm in. Uh, Max is in the one that looks like a container all by itself, and Wells is in the next one up. And I dropped her there, and she fell through. Oh, dear. Okay, I'll just bring another. Oh, that didn't work. Oh, well. <laughs> okay. Where so it goes over here? Sorry. Yeah. Right uh, in this area. Okay. All right. Where do I? So how come you can make it move and work, but yeah, never mind. All right. So from here, make another hearing perception roll, please. I will do it as wells, which is just so cool to be able to do that. Uh, succeeded by one. Okay, you can hear screaming coming from next door. To my right or to my left? Over this way. 
So yeah, I mean, I mean, I was tunneling ten meters down. Could I um, hear that and continue tunneling through? Um, yes. Okay, then I'll tunnel through. So you'll end up over uh, here. Yeah. Okay. And I imagine that I can't move anymore. Of course, I'm gonna go right into a destroyed. Of course. of course, right to a destroyed. However, okay, you also see that there are about four different resistance agents here, and they are firing on the destroyed, but having very little effect on it. Okay. Post segment 12 recoveries. Oh. Thank you. Oh, actually, yeah, okay, well, I, I could do this on segment one. Um, on segment one, Cyclone, who was flying around, flies over here, and he's in a power armor suit, and he shoots at um, Ghost. Sounds like a smart idea. Ghost is DC-8 right now. <laughs> 18 or less, holy crap. <laughs> I did roll a 1, 1, and a 2. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, so this is a 12 die 6 armor piercing energy blast. Oh, armor piercing. Uh, oh. 31, and I am not stunned. <laughs> Um, Sounds like you have uh, armor piercing. I mean, uh, not, not armor piercing, hardened. No, I have a con of 33. I only need 31 stun. Oh. Well, that works. <laughs> um, 13 minus 9, you are knocked. Oh, actually, it should have been less than that. It should have only been a one die roll because you're flying. Correct. I right, roll a one, so you're knocked back. If I can make this work, twelve meters. Oh, so you're going to be knocked yeah, back have... into the ship, and you're going to take another uh, ten dice of damage. I had I have eight dice or eight meters of knockback. Resistance. Oh, well, then it's going to be three dice of damage, so I don't think that'll probably yeah, stun you. So, no. you know, I might not want to roll <laughs> that three dice. Okay. Um, so that was on segment one. On segment two, he's going to shoot you again, maybe. I hit a DCV of 14. Holy crap. Uh, that's it. Okay. And he'll do the same blast again. Armor piercing. Let's see, 44. Uh, I can't can add and subtract small numbers anymore. 're not back from that um eight meters are you unconscious nope because you said you had knockback resistance uh, yes so, oh okay so he did eight me and uh, yeah so I did that not yeah, did not knock me back Okay, so he um, blasts you from there. That's weird. Uh, Sandcrab, your turn. Alrighty. 
So you see this uh, flying character that just zaps Ghost a couple of times. Yeah, that's not good. He's not on How? the water level. He's just higher. He's uh, yes, yes, he's flying. So he would be up about crane level. Like the top of the crane I'm here. I want to lock him and lift him. You want to what? About that high? Sure. I knew how you did that. I lock him with L key, and then I use the gizmo tool because I'm promoted. To lift oh. him up. And the these guys are really, really good at using the gizmo tool. It would take me forever to do that. Um, <laughs> looks pretty tough, huh? Uh, he's a power armor. Let me. Uh, Ghost has 11 stun left. But he did get two shots in a row on you. Yeah, it's the armor piercing that's a real killer. Yeah. Um, if I jump at him, can I land on him? It is possible. Do you have accurate on your jump? I do. Wow. Pity. <laughs> that case, Sand Crab will um, give him a tool again. He will jump at him. And I'll worry about positioning afterwards, but basically what I want to do is I want to land on him and use my clinging to be able to stand on him. And then well, I don't know how that's going to work, but probably if I knock him back, it'll, it'll probably break my cleaning away, but we'll see what happens. So I I, I posted a picture of what the character looks like in the player chat. Oh, did you? Okay, so, and what is it that you're doing to this poor? That guy right there, that, like mechanon looking thing? Yes. Cyclone. Terrible. Um, I am going to land on him. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to give him a big punch down towards the water, which will probably break him from my clinging, but we'll see how that all pans out. And, you can actually uh, cling to a person. Can you? I don't know if you can. Yeah, that's an interesting question. I'm looking, so go ahead. Keep going. Yeah. I, I think you can use clinging that way. Wait, you can use clinging as a uh, knockback resistance. Right, but can you cling on to somebody? I mean, you can cling onto a surface, but can you cling onto people? people Good question. <laughs> yes, I, I bet you have he to. Doesn't have a service, but I can't. That's for sure. If I was the GM, I'd rule that you could. I bet you have to grab first, and then you can use your clinging strength to hold on to grab or something like that. But I don't think that Sand Crab wants to go into the water with him, although I could be wrong. <laughs> well, that's true. So if you stick to the surface, if, if you knock him back, you go with it. It's like lifting your stuff up by your own bootstrap. <laughs> uh, ba -dum -bum All right. Well, I'll hold a hit. That's a hit. Uh, yeah, that's a hit. If you want me to do my hit, I will, because I'm also, I forgot to mention it, but I'm also shifting my multi power. So I'm putting the uh, second part of the multi power to uh, his leg strength, which gives him extra strength, but now he doesn't have the kinetic absorption on anymore. So would that make your roll less? No, it doesn't make my roll less. It just makes my strength more. And if you, since I didn't announce it first, I don't know if you want me to re-roll the hit roll. No, I won't. No, the attack roll is still the attack roll. Okay. Holy crap. 
You definitely can use clinging on people. Well, I don't think it says that directly. It definitely points to several situations where it does. So. <laughs> See, now it's unfortunate that Cypher's not there to listen to his suit scream at him. <laughs> uh, okay, so you jump over onto him and you hit him. You did 75 stun and 21 body. Yep. The body doesn't bother him. The stun, on the other hand, is another story. Ghost is impressed. Or Cyclone. Don't you feel sorry for Cyclone? No, not after he thrashed on Ghost, I don't. <laughs> so, uh, you hit him really hard. The, the um, thrusters from his suit move him a little bit, and then they shut off, and the two of you fall into the water. <laughs> If you wish to abort your next phase, you can jump back to the ship, but I don't think you want to do that. No, I can... I can... I can handle it. Okay. So whoosh, down into the water. Whoops, not that far. Uh, Max, it's your turn. Segment two. Whoa. I get to go before Orion does. Oh. Well, if that's the case... I was actually expecting to get hit again, actually. Um... Well, let's uh, see how he likes it. I'm going to turn up the voltage on it. DCV 11. DCV11, that's a hit. Okay, buddy. You like this. Seventy-three stun and twenty-one body. Ouch. <laughs> nice. Not bad for nineteen days. a boatload of endurance, but uh, I've got way more endurance than I do stun at the moment. So I'm just gonna... uses so much endurance for her big attacks that she's got a hundred endurance and it's not enough. And this is energy, yes? Correct, it's lightning. Okay, so you and the damage was that? 73. Wow. That's... And that'll be 12 hexes, 24 meters of knockback. Seems... So, he's looking, considering the walls right there, he's, unless he's got a knockback resistance, he's taking another 12 dice. Okay. So, um... When you hit, um, you notice that he's got like a force field on, and uh, the force field seems to absorb a lot of your damage, and he counters with flight to not move any move anywhere. And he goes, "Oh, now that's so more that, like it." Is that aborting to use the flight to counter? Do you have to abort to flight? I thought that was an automatic thing. No, it has to be declared beforehand is for a certain direction. Really? Like I like I declared it earlier when I when I came over to the Slack Talon and I said I was using my my um, clinging and my my running, which is actually flight, to resist knockback from the direction of him. Okay. Well, he he hadn't so used his phase this time, so, uh, 
I did. Abort to defensively use it. I'm he sorry. Could repair. Yeah. He could abort to defensively use his bike. Yeah. So that's what I'm going to have him do, so he won't get to attack this round. But yes. So that was your turn, Max. Okay. So he, um, you zap him. You know that you've done some damage, but you're not sure how much because he's reveling in the the electrical storm. Uh oh. Okay. <laughs> you foolish, foolish. I shall squish you like the bug you are. Well, maybe not. Uh, nobody else moves on two? Not I. Okay. Segment three. This black talent agent here. Lock. Ah, I got him locked. Of course, once you lock him, you can't spin him anymore, can you? Hmm. So he's going to. Uh, you. Sure, he's going to attack Sand Crab. Maybe. Oh, that's not the right one. <laughs> wow, that's quite that. <laughs> that's quite the spin you got there. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder how many items just dropped when I did that. Uh, I don't think a DCV five will hit you. Nope. Okay. So he blasts at you, and the blast misses and goes chomping into the water. And if it had hit, it might hurt quite a bit. That was just a warning shot, he says. <laughs> um. back up where it was. The destroyed uh, beside you there, um, Lysen, no, Wells, whoever you are now, <laughs> um, he uh, notices that you're there, but he can, turns, turns his attention back on the agents and he shoots and hits two of them. Oh, that's rude. Not very nice, destroyed. Knocking them both back, down, and apparently out. And it's Wells' turn. Yeah, so... Um, <coughs> I think that um, the Wells version of her will... Seven meters long. I'm just trying to think about... Is thirty to put a barrier, and where are the bat? Where are the resistance fighters? Are they the guys that are like in the corners, huddled down, or are they? Am I imagining them? Uh, so they're hiding behind these uh, generator things. Okay. Horizine, Horizine. A quick thing on the resisting knockback using strength or flight. It is a half phase action to do so, and it halves your DCV. Oh, cool. Okay. Thank you. Oh, that makes sense. That's not something I do very much, and I know why. Yeah, this is terrible. Ma I almost said make, making sense. It makes I sense. Because no. you're, to, like you're trying to resist something, so you're not going to be moving around as much. 
page, what page was that in the book? That is on page 11762 under resisting knockback. Thank you. Okay, so um, the Wells is going to um, is going to um, get this destroyer's attention by blasting it with earthen earth coming out of its hands. Actually, it would be Octocali coming out of its hands. Two. Oh. Don't know what that is, but okay. <laughs> so let's see if we actually fix two hit. Oh my gosh, really? Do I have hero points that I can use? Did we roll them? We didn't roll them, but if you want to roll them now, I will allow for it. I would love that. Thank you. Okay, let's see what I roll. Seven? Yeah, um, I will put um, the number of hero points necessary to hit him. <laughs> I rolled a four. I would have hit a four DCV. What do I need to uh, hit him? Uh, Twelve? I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Just. <laughs> That was mean now, wasn't it? <laughs> uh, you'll need to use three. Okay, cool. So I'll use three of my hero points and hit him with Earthen Blast. Are the rest of you going to roll for hero points as well? or? I did. Seven. Okay. And that did 19 body to him. I'll roll the... Oh, there's my normal rolling for hero points. That's what I'm used to seeing. So that would be um, 16 meters times 2. So 16 times 2, 32 meters of knockback. Okay. Lord. So If they have knockback resistance, of course. I mean. So you did how much body? I did... 19 body. Holy crap. And then I rolled very well on my. Back, my, yeah. And it's an energy attack, right? No, no, no. It's physical. It's oh, it's, okay. uh, it's earth, earth coming out of it, like dirt. Where are you getting all that dirt in this ship, hey? Huh? I'll tell you. These oh, people's kicks. That crap gave it to them. <laughs> <laughs> So, how many dice of knockback do you want me to roll? So, 32 is the meters. Did he have resistance? Good question. Let me find my book because I'm not finding the PDF very easily. I have two if you want me to look them up. Destroyed, 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 destroyed. Takes no stun. I do not see any knockback resistance. So that's thirty two meters of knockback. Okay. Um Where would I find the defense rating of the ship? I did not expect somebody to do that kind of knockback to him. Anybody have an idea if there's a page number on that? In a second. Mm. Thank you. You're looking for like ship hull? Yeah. yeah. It would be like breaking things, steel or something like that. Vehicle. Merchant ship hull is uh, 3 8 inch uh, thick steel. Sometimes uh, half inch. It's an ice rated vessel. Ooh, somebody has some mar marine Which means the there. body is next to nothing. It's only 
Uh, so three eighths inch. Let's see, that's less than sixteen millimeters. Uh, that's five bodies. Uh, the defense on it is probably going to be. Unfortunately, I don't have ships here. I've got spaceships. I've got tanks. It's not going to be as hard as a tank. We'll stop rifle bullets. What is tank? What is, what is tank? Tank is twenty. It's not a tank. Yeah. Uh, give it fifteen. Steel. I mean, whatever. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah fifteen uh, PD is what a, sp a large spaceship has. So. Because, uh, are you talking about defense or body? Defense. Body wise, it's only going to have five. Yeah. 16 millimeters of, of metal is five bodies. Because, according to page 216 of uh, CC, a military helicopter has a defense of 12 and body of 20. So that's not to the whole helicopter. We're that's just talking about the Yeah. Wow. The wall itself. I mean, the entire ship has more than five bodies. I mean, two by two meter by two meter section of, of hull only has five bodies. Okay, so I'm gonna say that you're gonna do um, twenty dice of damage. So roll That's roll quite, twenty dice of damage. It's quite generous. Is it though? <laughs> <laughs> So another Luckily, twenty. Bucks. He has absorption. Yes. <laughs> the more damage you do to me, the more powerful I become. <laughs> so nineteen body on the earthen blast, and then twenty body from hitting the wall. The wall did more damage than the blast. Uh, not by much, though. <laughs> um, so you knock it through the wall, and water starts pouring into the boat. You see that when the destroyed hit it, you completely destroyed the destroyed. It is dead. Destroyed, destroyed. Yes. Well, but, I am gonna but, sink the ship. But now you're sinking the ship. <laughs> Where's the hole? Um right here. Can I draw something? If I can get to it. No, if I can I'm, deal I'm, with the right, I can the easily ship. fix it. I'm on the ship, I mean. Don't worry. Yeah, so I so, basically blew no. it out the the this side of the ship. I say if I can get to it, I can easily fix it. My force wall is more defense and body than the ship, so. So roughly, it is port side over well, here, ship, left side of the ship. I'm doing drawing it in black. Cool. Beautiful, it's beautiful. Okay, can you see that? Yep, that yeah, works perfect. Okay. Even cartoon hey. destroyed shapes. That would be uh, <laughs> really good, a good screenshot of that. Put a destroyed down in the water outside the hole. Oh yeah, I'll yeah. work on that. I'll work on that in my turn. So. Um. So you'll you'll move the the destroyed? Yeah. Will you? Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, part way out of the ship, that would be great. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. uh, ghost, it's your turn. <laughs> okay, um, ghost is going to take out the uh, last black talon at the bottom of the ship. Uh, she'll be doing a, uh, I guess, another uh, charge maneuver. She'll uh, go for a maximum velocity charge. Make sure she takes him out. To hit, it's a DCV of 16. Oh, that should and hit. So this is the one here that you're hitting, 2-1? Uh, correct. Okay. And she rolled 78 stun, 21 body. Yeah, that's going to hurt. Lower. 
And so uh, the black talon that you hit there, uh, Ghost, uh, power powers off. Excellent. By the way, that that is actually above the water line, so uh, I don't think there's water going in there. Ooh, well, sad. actually, <laughs> it it was supposed to be down lower. Down lower, yes. Gosh. Sorry. No fun. No fun. <laughs> I was grasping at straws there. <laughs> I'm bringing smoke and I can't. Find it. In Vesco, however, all these rooms. Can, can we bring in water and make the water fill it? <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm trying to find some stuff to bring. You could shut the bulkhead doors and just let the room flood. It won't flood the rest of the ship. All right. Could just raise the water level. Just lift the ship up. Uh, you are out. Okay, Orion. What did it say? your skill levels there, buddy. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh, I didn't like the ship pro properly when I moved it back. Does a 10 hit you, Max? Yep. This is a no normal defense versus power defense. Do you have power defense? 20 points of power defense. Then, the then you take no damage. Because it's a no normal defense. I think I even ruled on the wrong thing. Yes, I did. But um, it should have been this. So I don't take any damage. But you don't take any damage because you have the defense. I'll figure out what your weaknesses are yet, you lousy piece of electronics. Sand crab. All righty. Uh, the guy that I hit, is he unconscious? Oh, heavens, yes. Oh, heavens, yes. Um, I think the ship is close enough for me to climb up. Uh, my my limbs can reach about three meters. Do you think that's within distance? Um, um, make a grab roll. A grab roll? Yeah, you're trying to grab the side of the... Is this a free grab roll or a half action grab roll? A free at this point. <laughs> okay, well, in that case, no problem. A 14, huh? And you've got three meters of stretching? Okay, so you, you, one of the tips of your tentacles reaches to the ship. That's good enough. I'll take it. Um, I will scramble up the side of the ship and go after that black town that shot it. Uh, uh, that ghost already took that one out. That's the one here? No, this one over here. The one that shot at me. That's the one that Ghost just took out. Oh. I, I, I saw him still standing there, so I thought, I thought that he was still conscious. Yeah, I, so did both of them I think I've locked him so he can't be moved. <laughs> I gotcha. All right. There he goes. So now you can in, knock him down if you... In that case, I will look for the nearest enemy. I guess the nearest enemy are these guys over here, these two dock talons? Uh, no, they are in the water and their power is off. They are drowning. Oh, oh drowning. They're in suits uh, and, or have life support, aren't they? Except that they were shut down. 
their life support shuts down too? They they were told to power off. Do I need to make a perception roll to see that? You can certainly do that. Succeeded by zero. Um, well, you can see that their the suits are completely powered off, and right. the the men inside are trying to break out, but with no power assist, the the armor isn't unlocking, and they're sinking. Yeah, well, I can't listen. I can't listen. That's poor design. <laughs> very terrible. Um, I think I've got a bunch of swimming, so I'm gonna swim over there. How much I have. There should really be manual overrides to get out of those kind of things. That's too bad. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell how disappointed you are. Yes. <laughs> yeah. All right. How far away is it? I am here. It is. Ooh. Wow. 56 to get to the first one, 60 to get to the second one. That's annoying. Um, you know, if you do enough damage to the suit, it might let them out. <laughs> Or break it I'll, open. I'm gonna have to jump. This guy I'm floating on, uh, th th that I'm standing on. He can I jump off of him? Um. Well, he's in an armor suit as well, so he'll he'll probably start sinking pretty quickly as well. Actually, oh. no, you you had climbed over to the ship, right? You had stretched well, over and grabbed hold I'm of the ship. I'm kind of retconning that a little bit since. Uh, uh, since that guy you told me was unconscious up here? I would let you jump off of the side of the ship because you had a free stretch over to it. I'll take that. In that case, I can do a 50 meter jump to get to... Who can't get to them? I have to do a full move. All right. That's a long way. Um, I will jump over there and... That's going to be my action. I'm going to shift my uh, multi-power to uh, activate the absorption again. And my move will be to go over there. And I won't be able to do anything else this turn. It's okay. More than, a half, more than a half move for me. Um, so, gentlemen, it's five after nine, and we were only supposed to go till nine, but we didn't get started for an hour. Do you want to keep going? I'm not able to keep going. You are? Yes. Okay. If everyone else a, is. I can go for a bit longer before I become a pumpkin. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, Max, it's your turn. Well, I don't see any stairs down here, do I? Oops. Can you hear me? I can. So from where you are, there's a door... But I don't see any stairs in this room here. Correct. Okay. Is this door open? No. Step over. There is a bulky door. door uh... There's a bulkhead door where? Uh, just beyond the, uh, just beyond Orion. Oh yeah, there was one. Those go outside though. We're, we're up in the back of the ship here, supposedly. Oh, I, just, I see. I, I'm sorry. Yeah, right, I right. walked. In, I walked in the. I walked in through the wall. I didn't <laughs> go right outside. Okay. I assume. Um, and then Orion blasted a hole in the wall. Yeah, and there's yeah, there's a big hole in the wall here. Um, I will step over to there, and I'm going to um, put Orion in a bubble. Bubblicious. BCB 13. Oh, yeah. He's in a nice, pretty blue bubble. And what does the blue bubble do? It's just like an entangle? No, it's a force wall. It's 15, 15 PD, ED, and, and 10 body. Okay. And that's pretty much my action, because it takes a hit roll to do that. All right. Um... 
segment five. Is there, a, uh, Jason, is there a way to take somebody out of the combat? Um, uh, yeah. Yeah, you can just um, go back to the scene and then just uncheck them from combat. So you're in the combat tab, so just push the scene tab again and, and then press the checkbox next to them that you use to bring them into combat. Okay. All right. Um... So, because the one destroyed you have completely obliterated. After that was the wall. Yeah. I'll take it, though. You'll take it. You'll take credit, right? I had a destroyed up top here. Where'd he go? He was in your darkness field. A darkness field turns into a planetary teleport field. <laughs> That's a pretty cool picture, by the way. The destroyed hanging out of the ship. Yep. All right. There he is. Make a perception roll, Wells. Uh, would you mind rolling? Succeeded by four. Well, that's not good. Um, so from where you are, you see a second destroyed uh, phase through the wall back here behind um, I've got coil agents being um, the resistance fighters and he, you see him phase in back there um, it's your turn okay. and he is still the solid um, is there a way that I can Put a um, barrier between myself and or that. Excuse me, that destroyed and the other resistance fighters. Well, I don't even know if it would help there. He's decided. Um. Well, you could put a barrier there. Yes. Yeah, but he's decided. That's the. Yeah. So unless you have an attack that affects the solid. No, but I could be defensive and maybe get to... <laughs> I'm trying to see on the screen where is that, where is that destroyer? I see the right coral here. agents, those are the good guys. Yeah, right, right at the back here. Oh, okay, got it, got it. Um, I think what I will do is um, go. Um, no, I can't turn on my. Uh, I will um, turn into Lysen form. Okay. And that means I will not go. If I turn into an, a, a, a form that has a lower speed or dex, do I keep going at that dex? Same speed, just lower dex. You go at the new dex. I think, yeah. But I, but, I, but I am going in that very moment. Like, I'm acting. Do I all of a sudden... So I, no, you won't, you do, won't do go I, at 18 and then 11. Yeah, but do I... Do I 
stop getting to act anymore until it becomes Eleven's turn on that, you know, eleven spot on turn, or I just take the action at 18 and then next... No, you, from, if, you're, if your dex is at 11, you go in 11 on that phase. Yeah, but I'm saying in my phase, as a oh. zero phase action, I'm changing oh. into a creature that has an 11 dex. Do I continue acting? Ew. It would make you wait till 11 dex. I... Yeah. Oh, you joined us, did you? I did. I've been here for oh. a little while. It, oh, here's it what also kind of goes along with the speed changes. I mean, yeah. it, it, they actually kind of penalize you a little bit for doing mid-turn changes like that a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, I, I would probably say you don't get the rest of it until 11. Yeah, I would I would go with that, too. My okay. suggestion is so if I, you make this kind of character again, give them all the same decks. <laughs> well, I, didn't, I did that on everyone. I don't know why the Wells is different. Um, <laughs> Anyway, so, um, yeah, I'm going to, when I'm an 18 deck, so I'm going to turn into Lysen, and then... I'll move later. Zero phase <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, Ghost. Ghost is taking a recovery. Sorry. Okay. Sorry to wimp out. That's fine. As stunned she is, she can't get hit a, uh, another time without going down. Well, let me hit you. Come on. Come on. Lysen, it's your turn. <laughs> oh. oh, after all. Okay, so um, Lysen will move into yeah, she will move into the middle of the distance that is no. Okay, so she can teleport there, half move, um, and then what she will do is activate a power, and the power the actually. Um, so she's going to activate the um, darkness field. Ah. So does it disappear from up. where it was and reappear here, or can you have them in both places at once? Yeah, I can. I can. They just they just last for a turn. Okay. But I'll I will do all that, and I think that is the end of what she can do. So that's the end of my turn. Okay. And that's segment five. Nobody attacks Ghost, so she gets her recovery. <laughs> I don't know. It seems like you're kind of slack in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry. All right. Need to buy some hardening on that arm. Alright, so on Orion's turn, he's going to try to blast out. So this is nine body armor piercing. Does that get him out of your bubble? Max? Have you turned into a pumpkin? Um, nine. Let's see. Oh, it doesn't even float. Oh, oh, nine body. Armor piercing. Uh, armor piercing. Yeah, armor piercing. So it's got fifteen. Uh, eight. It does one body. <laughs> okay. He's got ten more of those attacks to go. 
<laughs> Sand crab. All right, I will uh, grab these two guys. And uh, are, are they still like close to the surface, or they sink really far? Um, they're probably down about uh, twenty meters and sinking. Twenty meters. Okay. Uh, in that case, I will do a move by grab on them, and they're not really struggling against me, so it should be easy to hit. Should be zero. And I will make a uh, a full move to grab them and then head back to the ship with them. So I'll move over to here afterwards, and I'll be underwater so that. Less of a target while I'm carrying these two guys. Okay. Do you have life support yourself? I do. Excellent. So make your grab rolls to grab the two of them. Okay. Just don't roll an 18. Oh, no, no. Do roll an 18. Roll two of them. My double dog dare you. Well, okay. the first one was for sure hit. <laughs> I think the second one is too. Yep. You said they were like 20 meters down? Yes. And uh, then I swim over to the ship, which is another 18 meters away. It looks like. What's your, what's your swimming movement there? Um, it's, it's more than a half meter, but I, I have 50 inches, or 50 meters of swimming. Okay. Alarm klaxons are going off because of the hull breach. Sinking the ship. We'll step through the closed door there. Okay. And uh, look in this room. Are, do we have anybody in here? Um, there are a couple agents, yes. Are they alive? Yes. I only see collapsed people. They are alive. Okay. Um, are they conscious? Uh, yes, they're kind of... Well, you come in... Just a second, sorry. Uh, you come in and... Uh, they raise their weapons to shoot at you, but they make a, an intelligence check and realize who you are, so they don't shoot you. They do, however, say to you, in the far antechamber, to the north of the ship, or to the towards the bow, there are some agents, they have a case. That case cannot fall into destroyer's hands. That's I'll why relay. they're here. I will immediately relay that information to the team. Bow of the ship, there's a case with the resistance fighters. We need to maintain that case. Okay. Uh, I'm not are even you... going to ask what's in it, um, but um, I will say, can you guys um, get a defensive position there, and then I will. Uh, I can't switch the multi power again this phase. Um, Why not? Because you only do it once per phase. Yeah. But he didn't change it this phase, did he? I did. I became my D solid is. Oh, sorry. Okay, you're D solid right now. Very good. Yes, I, I, I missed that. I through the door to keep the door. I assume they have probably have the door barred or closed. Uh, and I want I want Orion to have to, one more thing to have to come through. <laughs> Very good. He hits like a freaking truck. I don't want to deal with it. So these uh, rooms are I, not laid out like the, like the ship. They are supposed to be, yes. The area I'm in is in the back of the ship. Gotcha. Yeah, so Max is in the back, and then Lysen is in the 
the third compartment compartment and there is another doorway beyond that I'm not actually seeing a stairwell going down anywhere on the ship. Well, there's probably one I think at this, this right doorway here. here. No, I think this is it right here. Um, right here doesn't mean much to me. Uh, follow the mean? follow the yellow dot. Maybe. Oh, uh, okay, vent. Uh, maybe that vents it. Well, there is a door up here for the front, for the bow of the ship, that That's I'm not true. sure how it would get down to here, but it's possible. Stranger things have happened, right? There. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, are you doing anything else, Max? That, I, ju I moved over a little bit further closer to them, and I just told them, go ahead and get a defensible position. I'll, I'll uh, put a barrier around you guys. I'll put protection around you guys. Okay. So they're going to go over into the corner if they can. Close enough for a cowbell. Mm -hmm. Okay, and, so, and then that's your turn, yes? Yes, that is my turn. Okay. I can't get them, I can't teleport them out of here quick enough to make it worthwhile. Okay, segment eight. Yeah, I'm going to go back and take you out of the scene too, because you're gone. All right. So he does a double blast on your thing doing 16 and 13. So that's another body damage on there. It's got eight more to go. Oh, that's right, because it's got 15, right? 15 defense, yep. Okay. You can hear him yelling in frustration. Awesome. I like that. <laughs> Sad crap. Burn mm. that endurance, buddy. Go, go ahead. I will uh, scramble up the side of the ship and place the two uh, Black Talon agents on the deck. And that'll be my action. I can't grab them because I moved them in the water and I didn't realize that their their uh, collider was at their feet. That's so okay. They're stuck in the water. Sorry about that. No problem. Um, so it's not Wells' turn. It's Max's turn on segment eight. We're going to move up to here now. And I'm actually going to put a barrier basically along this entire wall <laughs> here. Okay. Give me two other um, black talent agents. I can put them on the deck so that we can see where they are. Or if it doesn't matter, it's all right. You could just copy, couldn't you? I could, but I didn't want to copy and screw anything up. Or you could just leave them there and you could just say you did. Yeah, you can do that. So uh, because that force wall is an attack action that's your turn that is correct ghost okay um, and then lies ghost, yeah, ghost is going to fly around uh, the bow area and look for a way in she sees the door she's going to go through the door she's looking for a way down she's got about uh, uh, 35 inches of movement that she 
kind of meters of movement she can do with that. Um, make a perception roll. Does that get her into the bow compartment by any chance? Perception roll. Succeeded by three. Uh, you think that you could smash your way through this vent and that'll take you further down into the ship. Here. Okay, can she do that with the tail end of her movement? What do you mean? Oh, that, that, that vent. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So she was quite near to that. Yes. So she, she should be able to just, like... Because you're, okay, you're, so you're at the bow of she, the ship, uh, you're not at the stern. Right, right. Um, is that the totality of her uh, her action, just smashing through the vent? Or oh yeah, because it requires an attack action to do that. But you can go like you can do like a move through sort of thing, so you go down you inside. Do, you could do a casual strength to go through it, and if it's less than half your strength. Okay. Yeah. Can we do uh, less than half of my or half of my charge? <laughs> No, a charge is an action. So, if it's your casual strength, it's just your half of your strength. Actually, I think I was reading some rules. Um, you can actually do a casual energy blast as well. <laughs> sure. Well, you might be able to do a casual charge. But a charge is a maneuver. I rolled eight body. That should be enough it's to. A, it's uh... like a combat maneuver. Then you probably can. Yeah, it is a combat maneuver for my charge. Gotcha. And you would have to, like, charge the vent, which means uh, it would end your movement there. Gotcha. The, um, so, uh, yeah. I rolled eight body with casual strength on the vent. You, you, can, you can mangle the vent pretty nicely with that. Was it enough to push the get through the vent? Yep. Yeah. Well. Okay. In that case, you gonna go into it? So she uses the rest of her movement to get into the bow compartment. Yep. So I, I, that's what I was told to do, right? Get into the bow and protect whatever was there. Or get the case out. Wait, we we need we need to protect mm -hmm. the case. Work. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So you come down, and there's a fella there. It looks like it might be a monster, but it's not. Um, he's just an ugly, ugly guy, and he's holding a briefcase. It's a black attaché case type thing, and he's hiding behind the okay. the the pump thing there. And uh, he has an energy weapon, and he points it at the case, and he says, "One more step, and I'll destroy this thing." What do you do? Okay. Um. Well, a ghost tries to uh, uh, broadcast on all spectrums. Uh, you know, uh, I'm a friend. I'm here to help. But of course, he probably doesn't have a radio. Is there a radio? <laughs> is there any radio no. speaker source in this no, th area? There is not. Okay. So that, no. she would uh, hold up her hands, sort of like in a I surrender uh, position, and step back away from him, um, and is looking for a door into. You know, from this compartment to anywhere else. So there is a door. You can't see it from that side. <laughs> but from this side, you can see a door. Like from the outside oh, of the... Okay. Right, right. okay. You can't, you can't see door. it from the inside. Yeah, it's a one-way door. Yeah. Ah! She would go to that door and turn around to face the door. Okay. That should give him enough clue that she's not there with hostile intent. Not versus him, anyway. Okay. And... Lysen? Um... So... This destroyed is still desolid? Uh, yes. Um, you get the message from um, Ghost. Here. You can see the Destroid respond to that message, and he turns around. Um, the Destroid, oh. actually, the Destroid is in a radio darkness field. 
Oh, okay. And you are immune to that, right? Okay. I am. I am. So that means nobody on the other side here can hear that either. <laughs> He's going to bite radio hearing spatial awareness darkness field. Yes. So with that... There, she will um, she will activate um, energized auras the same uh, field um, this is a separate power but the other one is, uh, is uh, long lasting and so uh, she's now basically putting all of the um, coil agents that are in this radius giving them 11 11 persistent protection okay now it is selective um, if you would like I can roll against all of them if you if you want I just um, don't want it I won't try to put it on the destroyed if they're unwilling of course it's different but typically and if they're willing well, against a you could try radioing them, but their radios won't be working right now. That's true. <laughs> you want me to roll against them all? <laughs> uh, it's not necessary. Is that your turn? Yeah, um, it's activating the defensive power. It's not using it to target them. And it's a, it's a attack. So... Yes. Okay. Does anybody move on nine? Speed four. Mm -hmm. The agents would not be able to There we go. He pushed his power, Orion, and I did 11 body. One six and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight ones. That's hilarious. Wow. Holy <laughs> crap. 18 dice, 11 body. Wow. I couldn't believe I don't that. I've ever seen that before. Uh, and then the second one, he does 20 bodies, so he takes off five body from your... Yep, so it's still got three left. <laughs> uh, wow, that's a boatload of endurance to push that attack three times. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Here's the thing, you can always renew your force wall. Well, there's another <laughs> one sitting inside this room already. So if he's coming after okay. me... And I'm actually going to desolid out the wall anyway, so. <laughs> oh my goodness. Sand crab. All right. So we got the radio message that the room to the north is where something's at, right? Yes. What do I see in the room to the north? Uh, well, you see. Make a perception roll. You, that's with your power, right? Is it. Um, yeah. Awareness. Spatial awareness? Spatial, spatial awareness. Yeah. Okay. Um, so you can see that there's uh, what what what's the special effect of your 
spatial and awareness. One, yeah. Uh, there is a almost like a fog or an eminent uh, em, uh, a field of nanites that emanate from sand crab in all directions. Okay. And you're losing internet again. And oh, they sorry. send information back to him that builds a uh, 3D heads up display image that he can manipulate and see item uh, information about that area. Okay. So it's 360 and it's rapid. So what you get is would you be able to see through the radio darkness area? Uh, not maxes. Uh, I think Max has it against uh, spatial awareness. No. Lizen has it against spatial oh, awareness. Lizen has it against spatial awareness. Okay. So so there's you when you when you do your your visual, there's an area of darkness and then you can see ghost and you can see another man and he's holding a case and that case is resistant to being spied upon. Cool. So that's about where over is that this building right here? Yeah. Down down where ghost's figure is. Yeah, but on the above the ship. I'm sorry? From the ship. On on top of the ship? Is that about over here? Or is it right here? I would think it's around here. Yeah, it's more near the the like the the, building? the raised area. That well, the, those that building stuff, those are supposed to be um crates and whatnot, I think. Okay. Unless I totally misread this thing. Of movement and doing nothing, I will jump over to that area, and that's a half jump. Can I make a half tunnel for my second half move? Sure. All right. I will tunnel through the deck into that room. Okay. So you appear there as well, and again the guy says the same thing. One more step, and I'm going to shoot this case. I'll say, why would you do that? <laughs> to keep it out of your hands. And who do you work for? What? <laughs> who, who do you work for? He looks confused. Joe's Bakery. Joe's Bakery. <laughs> We're trying to keep it out of Dr. Destroyer's hands. Do you work for him or do you work for somebody else? How do I know you're telling me the truth? Well, you can look around at all the black towns we just knocked out. That might be part of the truth. Except that he's inside and can't see any of that. Okay. Do I look like a black talon? You look like a powered armor thing. They're powered armor things. Fair point. So I'll be like hanging through the hole, like cleaning the ceiling. <laughs> My mind's made up. Well. Don't confuse me with the facts. <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> So, are you, are you doing anything else other than your... Oh, it, was full, it was a full move to get there. So okay. I got some soliloquy, so I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. Okay. Destroid comes through the wall. I know what that thing is! Oh, he's not with us. <laughs> Okay, uh, destroyed, become solid, and shoots ghost. DCB of 14. All right, ghost is a flying dodge. Okay. 
which may or may not be enough. Um, let's see, uh, she's got uh, uh, yeah, she has a DCV of uh, 17 at that point. Okay, so you it's flying enough. dodge, and he blasts a hole into the the side of the cabin there. Oh, goody! Another okay, one. so Wells is not there. Max. Going to D solid, and I'm moving out and then around to here, which will take me outside the ship. Yep. Yeah. Not outside the ship, but on the deck. Okay. Anything else that you're doing? Uh, pretty much a full move because I'm running because I. Really can't teleport out there. Okay. Uh, Lysen. So, uh, Lysen would have been able to see the um, see the destroyed go back through the wall. That is correct. Uh, and there's a door there. Yes. So she obviously knows there's another room side of the door. In German, does she um, yeah, I think she's going to um, safe blind teleport and she can be You don't have that uh, that sand crab thing, do you? In your eye? No. Okay. He does not have crabs. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> oh, sorry. So he doesn't have sand crab. I don't know if that's any better or worse. Not sure if that's better or worse, huh? Yeah, so... Um, does it take to um, to open a door? Can she do that in a, in a zero phase action to open that door? Or half phase action. Okay. And the door would be locked, so. Yeah, I was. Well, I'm just trying to determine if she's going to teleport on the other side of the door. Um, I think that's what she's going to try to do. So I mean, you can like you can run up to the door. Discover that it's it's locked, and then have a half phase action to try the rest, like to teleport to the other side. Blind teleport. Yeah, no, I think she would just. That was the whole point. She was intending to teleport anyway. Uh, okay. And, but, I think that's, uh, but actually, I don't think that's what she's going to do. She's in here with uh, normals, who. Um, she has just put into a darkness void. Um, I think what she is going to do is turn off the power. Now, and turning off a power, I believe, is a zero phase action, unless it's got something on there that doesn't allow you to do that. No, she's going to turn it off. Okay. And she's going to say to them, um, if the destroyed returns, I will turn back on the void. Um, otherwise, run, um, run up the stairs, get out. Run up the stairs and get out <laughs> as fast as you can. We will handle this. Okay. They nod their heads in agreement. And that's your turn. Then we go to 11, then to 12. Okay. Um, it is like 10 to 10 for me, so for some of you guys, it's much worse than that. So I'm just going to do uh, uh, narratively, there's only the one destroyed left per se, and if you guys actually take pot shots at it, uh, it's going to be out of, out, out of the scene pretty quickly. And then there's Orion who's still trying to blast his way out of the, <laughs> out of the um, <laughs> bubble that... 
Uh, Max has put him into. The rest of us will have brought down the destroyer and he'll be facing all of us. Yeah, exactly. Uh, which, well, that what? should probably convince the guy with the case that we're the good guys since we're attacking the destroyer. Um, so. <laughs> if you guys want to make some persuasion rules, if anybody has persuasion as a skill to convince the guy yeah, that you are on their side. <laughs> yeah, oh, Ghost, Ghost is definitely persuasive. Give me that thing now! <laughs> Lysen, Lysen does. Okay. So she would, you know, after they run off, she would run in and say that she would get that thing. She succeeded by three. Okay, and so and she, do you drop yeah. any names that this guy might know? Um, we happen to know the leader of the resistance. We do. We are the resistance. I mean, over you guys wouldn't be resisting if not for us. Cut it out. Uh, I mean, um, she will mention the the you know, the the darker what the open com that they've used. You know, we share open com with you. She might even say a message over comms that would go to their darker web open com so that they know she's communicating. Perfect. Yeah, and instead of saying about the dark web, she would just she would voice over the darker web comms that is open line, and he would hear it. Okay, perfect. So <laughs> if, he's, if he's got a thing, yeah. <laughs> uh, he does. Um, um, you start talking, and you name some of the things, and he's looking at you guys, and he's not really. He's kind of new to the to the organization, so he doesn't know much about this. He just knows that, you know, powered armored things are not good. <laughs> uh, but some of you are, so I mean, and is Lysen power armored or no? No, she's not. No, okay. So, um... You saw, saw us take out a Destroid. Yes. Yeah. Yes, so, so and, and he knows that the Destroid is definitely not friendly. Okay, so he says, so, so you guys, you're, you're really with the Resistance? Yes, we're really with the resistance. <laughs> um, he says, okay, and he'll hand the case over to you. This has got some type of schematic or uh, physiological crap. St I don't know, but it's supposed to, it, it, it's in conjunction with another case that you need to combine them together. That's all I know. Where's the other case? Um, actually, Sand Crab, you have the other case. Oh. I have you, the other case. You, you got it from one of the other scenes a couple games I back. I think there was a briefcase hanging around. Oh, the briefcase that we got with, with uh, Eclipse? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was one of the scenes that I ran. It was one of the scenes that I ran. I remember uh, the gas station scene. I believe. Okay, it's great. it's been such a long time. Yeah, yeah. There's oh. so many briefcases that we haven't opened. So. <laughs> What's in the box? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right. Um. So you. We'll if he needs to be taken in somewhere to safety, because this ship is not safe. Yes, because the uh, are you guys going to bother you trying to patch the thing or are you just going to get people out? Um, actually, Sand Crab could probably patch it. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> With his new power? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you can certainly do that. And, um, yeah. uh, well, uh, could actually evacuate. Patch it and then evacuate everyone because yeah. uh, Destroyer's agents might be back. More, more of them will probably come when they are not getting any responses, because they're they do tend to do that. Plus, they do have Orion there still trying to get out. But you know, <laughs> want to leave people here to, to get them out. Put him in a couple of things, a couple more force walls. He'll be here when when they show up. <laughs> uh, okay, so you rescue the the peoples. You repair the ship so that. Whoever owns it doesn't lose money on the deal. Um, you get this case, and when you combine, when you bring this case and another case together, the the other case that you found, um, 
they vibrate when they're close to each other. But if you keep them about three feet apart, then they don't vibrate. But if you try to bring them close together, they do vibrate. They are locked, and it's got some kind of hermetic seal on it. Um, you figure that whatever is inside here, you cannot look through with your um, nanites. They, they're they rebuffed off of the 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 coating on the, the, the cases. Um, and that's where I will leave the scenario. You can... Where are you taking the cases? I think we should take them to the alternate alternate dimension. To our prison dimension. Is that okay? But there, question. There. You know, if we go into the prison dimension, are the people we been. put in the prison dimension sitting there waiting to beat the crap out of us? <laughs> yeah, actually... <laughs> they um, yeah, room force the built there. uh the room force built a like a in drain and a re re and life support like they're they're in, no, not they're comas, in they're, basic, they're in stasis now. so but if you go that. in there are you immediately affected by that drain no yeah there are devices that they're except of course that oh, you know okay. rune force is in a coma <laughs> 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 okay. Um, so I'm going to end the recording at this point, I think.